Carmelo Anthony's time with the New York Knicks was a roller coaster. On one hand, he led the team to three playoff appearances, including a trip to the conference semifinals in 2013. On the other hand, he had a tiff with then Knicks president Phil Jackson. According to Anthony, the root of their feud was related to Melo's friendship with Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. Though their feud was heavily publicized, Anthony revealed that he didn't have many face-to-face -face encounters with Jackson. In fact, whenever they talked, it was all about basketball, particularly the triangle offense. Anthony, a diligent student of the game, already knew the offense at an intricate level due to conversations with Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. And this pissed off Jackson. Me and Phil probably had three conversations, man. When we talk, we would sit in the office, lights out, couple of candles. We would watch film, and he would teach me how to break the triangle, so I learned it. But I think he was a little sick that I learned it before from Kobe and MJ. You know, I used to sit with them and ask them, what's up with this triangle? I feel Phil hated that I figured it out on how to get to my spots, how to get what I really wanted out of that. So he used to always say I was manipulating the offense. He wasn't flying with that. Anthony said per all the smoke. Melo got close with the late Kobe Bryant during their stint with the national team. Bryant admitted that among all the stars in that squad, it was Melo whom he got real close with. As for Jordan, Melo has been with MJ's brand since his rookie year, so he basically has a direct line to the GOAT. From the looks of it, the Jackson-Anthony feud was a classic clash of egos. It's a familiar narrative in the NBA. Kobe and Shaq fell out because of the same reasons. We can say the same for the Boston Celtics' big three of Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce and Ray Allen. The same story applies to Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant's departure from Cleveland and Golden State, respectively. Even Derrick Rose clashed with Carmelo during their time together in NYC. According to D. Rose, he knew right away that things would not play out in line with his expectation as the Knicks had a lot of different priorities, primarily Carmelo Anthony. Rose said that he thinks Melo was a great person, but as a player, he lacked the winning mentality and versatility of a leader. I played through it, 60-some games, but I could tell right away it wasn't the season I was expecting. A lot of different priorities. Melo's there. You know how he plays. Can't change that. That's what I realized being there. He's a great dude. I loved being around Melo. He ain't gonna rub you the wrong way. Great dude, great spirit, great person, great teammate, said Derrick Rose per the New York Post. The Windy City assassin also had his opinion on Phil Jackson and the triangle offense. As for me, I liked Phil, but come on man, you're still running the triangle? Rose questioned. He was still forcing them to run it. I'm a slasher, a driving point guard. The triangle is okay, but not for the personnel we had. Melo couldn't play that way, didn't want to. It shows how complicated it is to win in the NBA. As Draymond Green once said, everything has to be in order. The players, the coaches, the front office, and the other people in the background must be in sync. Having one common goal seems simple enough. But alas, humans have egos, some bigger than they could handle, which in one way or another either leads them to monumental success or epic failure.